What is the most important qualification for a school committee member? Give an example that shows you possess this quality and how it will impact your effectiveness on the board. Amanda, you can answer first. Thank you, uh, Tom, and thank you to HCAM for hosting this debate. Um, so the most effective, uh, the most important qualification, I would say, would be um, just being able to process a wide breadth of information, um, breadth and depth of information across many, many topics, um, and to digest that information quickly and to pull out um, the relevant, uh, you know, sort of actionable um, points so that you can make decisions and, and guide the district forward. Um, you can imagine in a job that deals uh, sort of oversees a $54 million budget covering facilities and hiring and curriculum and special ed and mental health. Um, there's a breadth of topics that you really need to become conversant on quickly. So um, I think it's important to be able to commit and do the work. I think um, that is something that I am actually, I like to do. I like to process information. Um, I, I like to do that analysis and I like to figure out um, sort of with a level head uh, where to go uh, with that information to, to help lead the district. All right, excellent. Uh, Meg, same question. What is the most important qualification for a school committee member? Give an example that shows you possess this quality and how it will impact your effectiveness on the board. Let me now Thank answer, Meg. Thank you, Tom. Um, one quality that I think is absolutely crucial is the ability to listen and then to integrate into your own thinking, opposing points of view. Um, you know, the, the five of us have very strong personalities on the school committee, and we have to talk a lot about a lot of very sensitive topics and very important topics. Um, we don't always agree with each other, but I have learned so much from listening closely, especially to points of view that I don't agree with. Um, as you know, in the past year, we have struggled a lot with trying to decide what to do in the face of the pandemic. Um, a particularly trying experience, I think, for all of us was being on the reopening full-time committee and listening to people who were so eager to get their kids back into school and people who were really fearful of that prospect, too. And... I think that we all have strong emotions, um, whether we illustrate that or not, we have them. And I think part of listening well is learning not to react to how you're feeling in that moment, but to be able to acknowledge the feeling in yourself, but still try to synthesize the information. And as Amanda said, to remain level-headed. A lot of this is about listening, waiting, and then trying to do the right thing through the use of reason. All right, terrific. And Jared, uh, what is the most important qualification for a school committee member? Give an example that shows you possess this quality and how it will impact your effectiveness on the board. Excellent. Thank you, Tom, for the question. So, you know, similar to Amanda, I think the most important quality is kind of the ability to, you know, intake, you know, understand and ultimately synthesize information. The one point I'd add to that is ultimately being comfortable making a decision and moving forward. You know, I think that there's a lot of information out there, you know, certainly now, whether it's, you know, sourced in so many different places, but I think it's so important that not only just listening, not only gathering all of that data, but ultimately being able to move forward decisively. Uh, and I, I think, you know, as we you know, as we look about, look what's most important. I think that, you know, that kind of paralysis, just sitting, waiting, I, I think it, you know, it, it's difficult, you know, it's difficult for the town, it's difficult for the students. Uh, and ultimately, I think it's difficult for progress and moving forward. You know, I, you know, career-wise, I, I work uh, in the pharmaceutical industry, um, which, you know, is, is an area that, you know, is, is filled, it's, you know, we literally live and die by data. Uh, so it's it's so important that you know your ability you're able to make a decision uh, with something like 60 80 percent of the data make a decision move on continue to learn more you know if you learn that last 10 to 10 to 20 percent you learn a little bit more 
it's okay to change direction. It's okay to, you know, correct, change course a little bit, but ultimately to make a decision and move forward.